Hello, good timing. We've just got into position. There's a large herd of elephants off to our right. They're a little bit far away, but thankfully, this camera's got a very good zoom, and Senza will be able to get you up close and personal with these wonderful animals. Now, like Tristan said, they can keep cool by flapping their ears. And you can see one or two of them doing that. It's not very hot now, so they're not flapping their ears as much as they would be if it was the middle of the day. And how they use those ears to keep cool is they pump lots and lots of blood through each ear every minute. And as they flap it, it helps to cool down the blood and then that blood goes back into their body a little bit cooler. And it's very important for these animals because they need to eat so much every day. And they're youngsters. And even a big female, which will weigh about four tons, will eat around 150 kilograms of food every single day. And as you can see, every few steps they take, they're plucking up some grass or small trees along the way. Some of them have got beautiful big tusks, which are just long teeth, really, that come out of their mouth. And some of the elephants up in Kenya have got the biggest tusks in the world. But there are also some very big ones down in the Kruger National Park, where Tristan has been with you now. Hello to Destiny. You're interested to know if elephants are the strongest animals that we'll see out here in Africa. And I think certainly yes. They are the biggest and the strongest of the animals we see in Africa. Although they do have some interesting contenders. Rhino, buffalo, hippo. But none of them are quite as big as these monsters. And we sometimes get to see them showing us their strength when they push over big trees in order to get to the leaves on the top or to expose the roots. So thankfully for them, they don't have too much to worry about. It's uncommon for anything to hunt them. But occasionally, there are large prides of lion in certain parts of Africa that will actively hunt elephants. It's hard to believe, but it does happen. Hello to Junior, you're also interested to know a little bit more about the anatomy of the, an the elephants and you'd like to know why have they got such thick skin? And it's a good question, I guess because of the thick bush that they need to move through in order to feed from time to time. And a lot of the animals out here, to be honest, have got fairly thick skin. The thickest. And maybe because it's the fact that they don't have much hair on their body. They do have little hairs. If we were very close to them, we would be able to see one or two hairs. There's not many. But maybe it's because of the fact that they don't have fur to protect themselves. I think that would be a fairly good reason for them. Beautiful. Hello to Harper. You'd like to know why elephants are fat, and I don't think they're fat, they're just big. They're just very, very big, and some of them that may have big bellies probably have got babies inside them. So I think the ones with the big stomachs will be pregnant. Difficult to see from here. That one there possibly looks pregnant, the one in the middle. Her stomach's a bit bigger than normal. And isn't it... Interesting that they give birth to a baby of around a hundred kilograms and that's probably bigger than most of your fathers A hundred kilograms is a big person yet. That's how big elephants are born Okay, well we are going to stay with these ginormous elephants for a while and be sending you across to one of the smaller mammals that roam the Masai Mara Plains